So, recently you may have seen Death Battle had its first Tekken character, and yours truly once again had to do the bulk of the research. And although it was a few months ago, there's one thing that I just can't get out of my mind. The Mishima family has to be the most dysfunctional family ever. I'm Jocelyn the intern, I do all the research nobody else wants to, straight from the desk of Death Battle! Usually when you think of father-son relationships, you think of heartwarming things like playing catch in the front yard, or your dad teaching you how to shave. You know, something warm and fuzzy. Yeah, well the Mishima clan has none of that. This family is built on more complex emotions like revenge, hatred, and uh, more hatred, I guess. They throw each other off cliffs, shoot each other, even break a neck or two. Pretty much their version of a hug is a punch to the face, and a family gathering is quite literally a battle royale. But they weren't always bent on trying to end their bloodline. At one time, they were actually a happy family. Heiachi and his wife Kazumi had it all. Love, a successful business, and a healthy son named Kazuya. This all changed, though, when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> but no, it actually all changed when Kazumi transformed into a devil and tried to assassinate Heiachi. Which, granted, is pretty good grounds for developing some issues. By trying to kill Heiachi, Kazumi broke his heart, and in return, he broke her neck. But if all that wasn't enough to make Kazuya hate his dad, Heihachi, fearing that his son might have the devil gene that his wife had, decided to play it safe and hucks Kazuya off a cliff. Because that's how you get rid of your problems. You just throw them off a cliff. Wish I could just throw all my problems off a cliff. Anyway, surprise, surprise, Kazuya survived the fall. And once again, surprise, he has the devil gene. Naturally, he swore vengeance on Dad. But first he had to go through a dope training montage. And when he was finally ready, he easily beats the shit out of Heiachi, and I shit you not, threw him off the same cliff he was thrown from. Revenge complete! Or so you'd think, because an ironic surprise, Heiachi survives. Um, okay, how high is this cliff? because it's batting 0 and 2. You'd think by now they'd actually check to see if whoever they're throwing off a cliff actually dies. Or, you know, maybe find a more effective execution method? Maybe like a guillotine? Its survival rate seems pretty low. Anyway, the cycle repeats itself with some vengeance, swearing, and some training until Heiachi beats the hell out of his kid, despite Kazuya going devil form, because Heihachi is like, nope, I killed your devil mom, I can kill your devil ass too. Thankfully, he seems to have learned that tossing people off cliffs isn't very effective, and instead decides to throw Kazuya into a volcano. See, there you go, it's a little better. However, he didn't learn the lesson about sticking around to confirm the kill. Kazuya survives thanks to some enemy corporation reviving him. If the one-on-one -on -one family feud wasn't enough, they materialized a grandson for Heiachi named Jin, whose mother is more of a plot device than an actual character and is almost immediately killed by Ogre, whose title I strive to reach one day, the God of Fighting. Fast forward a bit, and for a short amount of time, we get to see Aachi show some regular fatherly emotions toward his grandson as he raises him up to be a genuine buff boy, until he was strong enough to finally avenge his mom by killing Ogre. But as he turns around to seek the approval of his only father figure, his dear old grandpapa, Aachi shoots him in the head with a pistol because he figured out that Jin has the devil gene and he wasn't taking any chances with throwing people off of anything anymore. At this point, we've learned that Heiachi never has a backup plan because he's pretty stumped when Jin survives, goes devil form, and flies the hell away. I'm telling you, Heiachi, guillotine. Just trust me on this one. The real kicker of this whole ordeal is that the Mishimas are just fussing over nothing! The devil gene has existed for centuries without any incidents. If all of this wasn't enough for the Mishima clan to be crowned king of dysfunctional families, Jin and Kazuya start World War III together. So yeah, you know, they should've just taken a break and talked things out.
Fun fact, in the non-canon Tekken tag ending, Heiachi throws both Jin and Kazuya and accidentally himself out of an effing spaceship.